Good evening and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We are here with episode, what is this, 7 or 8 now? Can't quite remember. And we are back to exploring a little bit. So, last time I, we did the underground passage, or we did a little bit of it. We didn't do a lot of it. There's the stone door is like there, I think. Um, and then we went back to camp and we swapped out Lazel uh, for Starion. But today we're just going to go on and explore. Dead goblin up. Oh, we can go up here. Okay. Cool. Lazo, are you coming? So everyone jumped except Lazo. He's just like, I'll take the hit. No worries. Great. So, Gith, aren't you worried your kind will punish you for consorting with us? My name is Lazel Chucky, and my kin will understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I ask. Okay, so we still got some like animosity between those two, which is not a surprise, to be honest. Okay. So that, all that did was lead back this way. So let's go... Okay, we're going to turn left and go the way... Go the way we were going anyway. Okay, let's have a wonder. Do you think your kin search for you, Lazel? I know they do not. It is my responsibility to cleanse myself. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. Okay. So. Oh, we've got stuff going on over here. Okay, awesome. Lazel is like, nope, I do not think they were away. searching for me. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please. Okay, what's going on here? I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. An oil bear. Please, do you have any? Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the absolute? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming chills in your head. Oh, another. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Okay, so I think what's happened here is these guys Edwin. are part of the cult. Please. To the He's absolute. The absolute now. As she you're, has just said. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was. It looks soul. like they are confusing like having the have mind flayer powers. We were reporting to Edward. Or... What? Are you... Are you testing us? Yeah, exactly. The is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Right. Ah, I will serve at no ruler's side but my queen's. I'm sorry, true soul. I... <laughs> Seems the absolute still has a great deal. Okay, to I, that was I was that was a bit mean, I guess. Um, what? 
and just leave Ed. I suppose, I suppose he'd want us to go on, find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. <laughs> I just left him on my way. They spoke of the absolute. Same as that goblin, Sazel. Strange power resonates within the core. Okay. So the, the worm is still in there, obviously. Your limbs move with their own accord. There's something to them. Something the world craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Um, I might do it. I did. Wow, the, the guidance roll helped. Your muscles loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. Okay, and where did the tadpole go? Okay, nothing there, and this river is loud as heck. Going this way. Oh yeah, I suppose the waterfall is what's loud. Owl bear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Okay, so the owl that's the owl bear's nest. In there. Climb up here. Oh, there's a dog. Your sour face is tiring, Shadow Heart. By all means, could do it depends on the role we've done it on the role Lo lovely the dog lowers his hackles his head tilted inquisitively convinced that you're harmless he turns his attention back to the corpse with a deep heartbroken whine the dog bows his head the dog looks at his owner with sad eyes he does not move. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Good, okay, that's good. Oh. Okay, so the dog will find us, okay. Let's keep keep searching the map. Let's go this way. Something over there. Not a chance I'll fit in there. Okay, I need something small to get in through there. Okay, still... Oh, there's a bridge over the river. We can... Looks like we can go to... Oh, more enemies. Okay. Strange. 
It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. A dead boar. But it doesn't look like it's been touched by scavengers. Okay. The carcass seems to be fresh. Only a few looking close. Yeah, okay, so I think I know what this is. Its face is desiccated. It's fresh. Exsanguinated, as in sanguis. Augusta will affix the Zathisk, the purifier, to our heads. Its magic will quell the parasite in an instant. Oh, here's Aradin again. Thought you was busy with the foul bloods in Elson's Grove. Not no more. The contract didn't mention no goblins. I would have prepped the lads, brought better weapons. The kind that leaves half your crew dead. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic, supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic. He was more eager than a hound in heat. Yeah. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. Yeah, and I'd do the same again. He okay, so house in... If you want to play the hero, go ask the goblins nicely. And maybe they'll give you whatever's left of him. Come on. We're wasting time. Hey, a shovel, finally. Oh. Something's waiting up ahead. Something's waiting up ahead. Yep, I imagine it's those goblins. There's another one there. Some up there. Okay, can we get up onto this roof somehow? That Zathisk you mentioned intrigues me. Care to tell me a bit more? An intricate device crafted by Millar, our most gifted artisans. I am sworn to say no more. Okay. Tell me, Lazel, what is it like on the astral plane? Your home realm intrigues me. If Yankee lay their eggs on other planes, they cannot mature in the astral. I'll only be one of them a mind flayer's head. Okay, I think I need to turn off non-lethal damage now, because... Um, yeah. These are... these are goblins. These are big, bad. what is your interest in the astral plane? Time. Or rather, the absence of it. In the astral plane, everything is eternal. It will be my home soon enough, should Blacketh will it. You sniff it where you ain't ought to be, friend. Might have to take that nose. Oh, okay. As the symbol glows, 
power courses through you. Authority. Nice. Okay. Spollocks. Fezzik fudding around while I'm stuck dealing with yobs. Okay, we now know Fezzik's name. That effect. Is it a windmill mucking about? Wouldn't stray again if I were you. Okay. <clears throat> so wait, who did they... I don't have the movement, so I'm going to end my turn. I have to keep going. Cool. The bonus action doesn't actually help me right now. I don't think I have the range to get to them. Yeah. End the turn. They're all surprised, so we can get like an extra... Indeed. Extra hit on these guys. Cool. Lazelle's perfect. Somehow she's down there. Make way. Rather than up here with us. Again, they're all surprised. Trying to get high ground, aren't they? What path lies before me? My faith will protect me. When I go. Yeah, okay, so neither of them has the range to shoot from building to building. So, they've gone down there, which all that's going to do is give me a chance to uh, hit them with ranged attacks. And that will mess him up next time. Swift and lethal. Yeah, good hit. And the pommel strike would finish her off. Nice. Yeah, that's a good hit. Let's end this. That one's gonna be like dealt with anyway, so we'll just go a fireball on this one. Yep, dealt with. Dang. Yeah, okay, there we go.
Oh, another supply pack. Nice. Gale is kind of hurting right now, so let's swap to him and... Have we got a potion I can give him? Move. Definitely easier ways of doing that, but I, no yeah, that's what I ended up doing, so fine. Okay, onwards we go. Um, we still need to go left. I think we can, like, clear out this whole village of these goblins. Picks a fight. The consequences are hardly surprising. Yeah, of course not. Missed. Dashing. Okay, fine. I'm gonna dash up here where all of us are. Is that really worth it? I'm not sure. Yep, high ground on the tracker worked. Then my turn. Lazelle can deal with this one. Yeah, good hit. And now Gale. What should I do? Swords meet sorcery. Pawn to cleric form. Same again, really, just deal with that. Okay. It was a Faerun. Awesome. And an acid vial, we can use that. More gold, just collecting all the gold I can. Okay. That was good. That's hopscotch. Let's go back. Okay, that's three big boys. Tastes like chicken. No chicken. Oh. Okay. Brothers, look here. I have eyed yet another prize. These are kind of like the trolls from The Hobbit. <laughs> Stranger, be you friend or food. The mark is 
is her measure. Show is the brand of the absolute. Okay, only a ten to Yeah, easily done. Indeed. How regrettable that your meat must go unsavored. Food? Food. Not food. Friend. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind. This is interesting, actually. This is actually quite interesting. I like, because it doesn't look like any of the goblins that I've been... And you, a delicacy. Were so lucky. The, all, all of the goblins and all of the races, it seems so far, is that you don't have to go into a fight. I've no use for the absolute. Or any god. I follow two masters only, gluttony and greed. The goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold, and the rest sate my hunger for meat. Okay. Both goblins give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt wow, me. if we're going into the goblin camp and we could hire these guys. It's going to be a difficult roll. Two plus two, nineteen. No, just failed. We're gonna go one more time on it. We're gonna try it. Okay, never. A slip of the tongue. You meant to make a better offer, surely. A serenade to my ears. Take my bowhorn. One blow, and the ground will quake with my family name. Okay. Use it when the need arises. Okay. Ogre everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken, indeed. Ogre kill everyone around. We will keep close when you are ready. Okay, that's helpful. We, we could use some Ogres. Off they go, running about whatever they're doing. Mm, what's that? that might be worth a look. Some gold, yeah. Not sure I need the other stuff. I was wondering about your queen, Blackith. What tales of her reach us are terrifying. I suppose that's not how you would describe her. Blackith is unity, fear and beauty, life and unlife. Eyes like onyx, teeth like daggers. There is none more perfect. Sounds vile. I assume the meaning of perfect was lost in translation. I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented, of course. There's... Sorry, buddy. I wasn't. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, more goblins. Okay. Gale. Let's see. I have a cat, 
a library, and a weakness for a good glo- Okay. Swift as my feet can carry me. Okay, so we will clear out these two goblins here. I missed the flourish. I missed. Cool. Oh no, that didn't actually kill. Okay, I thought that would have ended it. Let's just action surge and do it again to end things there. Okay, goblins dealt with. Oh, rogue's morsel could be useful. And off we go exploring this way. Okay. Right, okay, so that'll be it for today's episode, guys. We've opened up a lot more of the map, but look, there's a lot in between I haven't explored over there. So... My eyes grow heavy. Best to make camp. They want us to make camp. Yeah, there we go. So we've had a good a good kind of explore anyway. So this will be... This will be kind of like the Blighted Village, maybe, with the title of this one. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Baldur's Gate 3. We are progressing quite slowly, but it's mostly because I'm kind of recording half an hour at a time. Um, and I'm just trying to explore, like, everything. Like, as much as I can. Everything. So that's the whole, the whole idea with this anyway, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall catch you. Merely that if the eyes are the mirror to the soul, yours have dark curtains across the mirror. No offense taken, I hope. Not necessarily. I haven't made up my mind about you yet. Right, okay. <laughs> I don't know if that was a bit of flirting. It could have been, but I'm not sure. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I shall catch you next time.